Okay, welcome to the Gamer Jets Duo podcast number nine. <laughs> I just freaking Ooh. sprung it on Eric. <laughs> we were just chilling in the hangout, and I was just like, okay. Oh, man. So, there are some things that happened, and there are actually a lot of stuff that has happened in the past week. Also, yeah. I want to address that I think Nate listens to our podcast. I, I think he does. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh yeah, he comments on some of he them. He comments, but like it may, his comments are never like, like the last one said he just bought H one Z one. So I thought <laughs> that he what? may have just read the title and not yeah. listened to the whole thing, which would, you know, make sense. But so I don't know, Nate. If you listen to this, let us know. Yeah. Because that's really interesting. <laughs> that we we. Talk and just listen to our podcast. You need to come on sometime, like whenever, yeah. literally, just on Sunday. Be like, "Yo, I'm available," and we'll be like, "Cool, let's do it." That's all it takes. But cool. also, I want to point out. You see this crap on the side of my face? You see this crap? See that? There are three. There's three pimples in a triangle shape. Illuminati. Illuminati, Illuminati dude. <laughs> Look at it. Oh man, yeah. I just wanted to point that out because why not? Um. Oh yeah, the Gamer Just Do a podcast is a podcast with two friends that just sit down and talk about nerdy stuff like mm -hmm. movies is, and TV and games. This and is ninth Nate. week anniversary. <laughs> ninth week anniversary. It's pretty legit, dude. But um, next week I think we're gonna do the thing that I mentioned where. I'll either have like back well well yeah I'll either have like footage from a game with like you know from past of me recording it or I'll just mm -hmm. literally be playing game we'll, we'll also be doing the podcast you could just record some background AC4 or yeah. some some maybe we'll maybe we'll full round in yeah maybe and we can you can plaster our faces on the top yeah. of yeah maybe on episode um maybe on episode 15 we'll do it like every five episodes like on 10 mm -hmm. we can do it like that where we record the past broadcast but on 15 then we can do it with like live you know like yeah. just chilling but um would that be commentary then yeah it's a little <laughs> bit of commentary but okay yeah but i i can still easily just talk about this because there's it's not really hard to talk about all this crap um what do we want to start with? We could start with Crota Hard Mode. That's not uh, even yeah. on the list, but I meant to put we it there. Just get that out of the way. You are a duck. Congratulations. You got a normal oh animal gosh, for once. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw you joining in. I was like, what is he going to be? He's an anonymous <laughs> duck. He's a duck. <laughs> You're a duck, mate. Um, so Crota's oh. and Hard Mode released on... Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday of last, yeah, this last week when you're watching it past week. Um, the date, I can get the date, was the 21st of January, 2015. So it released, and a lot of people don't like it. I still think it's fun, but I definitely don't think they should have made it level 33. For people that don't know, the level cap yeah. is level 32, but the raid is level 33. So it's like extra ridiculous. I don't know. I think oh. 32 would have made it not as yeah. insane. Because yeah. the only problem is we've got it to where we know what to do. And we can get it done if it weren't right. for all these this the AI messing up and glitches. Yeah. Like if There's if you mess up it. once, it's over. You have to wipe and yeah. restart. Like, Or if Crota goes from from kneeling to melee in yeah. a split second. Yeah, that, that's a glitch. He he'll just, like, you know, he's supposed to be kneeling and then stand up and then, you know, melee if you're in his range. But he just, yeah. sometimes no, he'll just, just, like, like kneeling. <laughs> 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 yeah, just... yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's um he's dumb. Crow's dumb. My my least favorite yeah. freaking... The, the glitch that I seriously can't stand is the disappearing sword. sword. Yeah. Like, everything else is, no, like, very no, minor, like... but they still... They still wreck it just as... <coughs> All the minor glitches still destroy your run as much as the sword one, but the sword one's just... 
visually annoying. It's the worst because like it's that just... takes it gives you less Cause... time to kill him and more more time to mess up. Well, um... I mean, with everything else, I mean, it's the same amount of like if anything else, any glitch happens and it's over. So I mean, it's not technically any worse than the others, but the freaking like. Just the fact that you were all ready to shoot Crota and the sword bearer, he's like, right. he's like, okay, I'm getting to the sword, and it's gone, it's gone, guys, and we're all just like, oh, <laughs> dang it, I just popped a heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's true, that's true too. Uh. Yeah, that's really annoying. But we've been going at it. Friday, we well, no, Thursday, well, Wednesday, we got to Crota. No, no, no. Yeah. Wednesday we didn't get to Crota. We got stuck on the bridge because we only we were only playing for yeah, like an hour and a half. And yeah. then the yeah the next day we got to Thursday we got to Crota. Friday we no 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 Sa Saturday yeah Saturday we messed around with some weird strats and then we concreted the normal the good thing to do. And then we did it for like two hours and just kept getting wiped by random stupid stuff so we're gonna mm -hmm. try again tonight eventually we get it. Strategy, so we're gonna try that <sighs> i hate strategies that require supers oh dude you weren't watching so no i wasn't no idea. <laughs> literally <laughs> your let me guess would explode well i doubt that you're probably gonna have no to... no you you're gonna your mind you is gonna need... explode what is it like melee kills or i need to know just no. tell me how how do you get the super energy okay so you have at <laughs> least two warlocks and you know the knight the two knights on each side when yeah. you first do crota encounter mm -hmm. you you uh, super as a warlock sunsinger and throw your grenades at them and you generate five orbs per kill and you do that every time you die so you pretty much have unlimited orbs Interesting. That doesn't you'll, blow you'll my it. mind at all. It no, supers you, require you it, supers. You're gonna be flooding. You're gonna be flooding in orbs because it's insane. <laughs> I just saw them doing this when I joined them earlier. Well, also like, we don't on? we don't normally have two warlocks. Yeah, that's so that's true. Just saying, but I you don't, might have to pick a warlock. Yeah, I really. But even then, like I don't like require requiring certain things. It's just. We almost had it on the normal. We can do the normal way and get him if nothing decides to rape us in our buttholes. No. Then we'll be fine. They I might mean. The strats. <laughs> um, yeah. Crota liked to uh, go from kneeling to yeah. melee instantly. Crota can just suck a penis. Uh, <laughs> okay. A small one. Yeah, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> let's see here. So, Crota hard mode happened. I didn't start the timer. So, uh, we might be going like... on this for like an hour and a half. You never know. It might well, be an well, hour and a half. It might be 45 minutes. Uh, it's like 50 minutes, dude. We've been talking for like 10 minutes. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I think I... Okay. When I told... Yeah. When I told you that you were like a couple minutes late, I looked at the clock, and it was like four... 34 and it's 444 right now so exactly 10 minutes so you're you're just yeah. a beast um we got some <laughs> other stuff to talk about oh let's last week when we were talking i had the uh i had i had my colts jersey on i had the packers mm -hmm. and the seahawks game let's just right. you know discuss that because why not um okay. the packers no, no no seahawks beat the packers yep and it was by like an insane comeback, it wasn't. wasn't I heard like the Colts game. Colts the 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 Patriots beat the Colts by like forty five to seven by the end. I think it was, dude. At the end, <laughs> dude. No, 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 not at the end. In the third quarter, it was like thirty something, and I was I was still like, this is so sad. Come on, just do something right. Do something right, and then freaking interception and i'm like nope i'm done i was sitting on my the couch mom, and i just my threw my blanket off, off. The TV at half time. <laughs> see that's dumb because halftime is where it's like if they come out at halftime and do anything they have a chance because they come out with more momentum and they could seriously even if it's 30 let's say it's 35 to 7 if they come out at halftime and get us get a point they're on the board. Like, they, there's a chance of them coming back. So my mom easily, wanted to turn but they off the didn't. TV back in the first quarter as well. So. Well, that's yeah, that's also dumb. 
I mean, the, yeah, but um, they, but then they didn't see if they if they had done that in the second half, which they didn't. They just came out and did the same dumb stuff. Then I mean, they would have had a chance. Yeah, they didn't. So like, I knew it was over when I, but I was watching the third quarter and I was like. I'm 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 gonna go upstairs soon. I'm I'm done with this. And then mm-hmm. the, like the interception happened, and I was like, I was sitting on my couch with a blanket on, and I was just like, okay, done. Just just <laughs> unreclined the chair, grab my water. I'm gone. See you guys later. To my mom, and my my dad, and I'm like, I'm out. And I came what was your parents' reaction? <laughs> they were like, um, oh, I I told you and Ryan be, before when my dad watched football back in the day. There was a guy, there was an announcer for Monday Night Football that, like, when it was pretty much over, like, oh, my gosh, you're wearing a cult shirt right now. I'm wearing a Superman shirt. That doesn't apply to anything whatsoever that we're going to talk about. But (laughs) um, my dad used to watch Monday Night Football, and there was this announcer that when the game was basically called, like, when somebody was – like, when it was pretty much over, like, if somebody was ahead and the other team threw an interception or something yeah. like that, they the guy would sing, turn off the lights, the party's over. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, he had this whole song, and my dad started <laughs> singing that when the interception happened, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. All right, I'm yep. done. Bye. <laughs> yep. it, was, it was really sad. But later... You find out. I mean, this still isn't. This this is still a factor, but it's not the reason the Patriots won. The Patriots had eleven of twelve balls underinflated, so <laughs> that's a thing. Patriots cheating yeah, like always. I, I freaking that. hate the Patriots, dude. Not just because they're the Colts' rivals, but they're freaking scumbags. <laughs> at yeah. least, at least some of them are, because they've cheated before. The logo. logo is the logo ugly. is kind of. It is kind of dumb. If if any team I like for like their colors or uniforms or something, it's the Seahawks. To be honest, I think their yeah. uniforms and and their stadium. Their stadium's freaking cool looking. I don't know why I remember yeah. that, but I do. I, I <laughs> when did I? I don't know. I think I was just watching a Seahawks game once, and I was like, "Whoa, that looks awesome!" <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it, it's like an outside stadium, but it's shaped like weird i don't know yeah but the uh colts lost and uh but even after i wasn't that sad it was sad because they got wrecked but it i wasn't that sad because i mean like most people i mean the fact of the matter is only four teams get that far out of 32 like we were one of the top four teams out of 32 teams in the nfl like I was, yeah. I was happy to have gotten that far, you know. Like my dad mm-hmm. will never know the joy of that because he is a Jaguars fan. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, he's a Jaguars fan, and uh, Jaguars. It's... Jaguars are so freaking dumb, dude. D- I don't know if you remember this. The Jaguars when they the last time they were in the playoffs. Oh my gosh, I don't know if they. I <laughs> dude, I don't even know if that has happened. Oh my gosh, in years. And if it has, it probably has only happened, like, once. But, dude, the year that the Jaguars, like, started to – when when Tim Tebow graduated, the mm. Jaguars had the – it wasn't the first pick, but they had the chance to draft Tim Tebow, and they passed. I don't know why. They got some freaking <laughs> linebacker from Hawaii or some crap. And I, it doesn't make any sense to me, and it really annoyed me because, like, okay, that's really yeah, it's weird, like dude. really, I, I don't get it because one of the biggest things about that is because even if Team Tebow didn't do fantastic, which he didn't, he did pretty good the first couple of seasons. But even if he doesn't do, average. yeah, he even if he doesn't do fantastic or gets them to the playoffs or the Super Bowl or whatever, right. he would still get drive tickets. And that's one of the things that the Jaguars need because they have a horrible fan base. Like, they the the fans who are fans are good fans, but there there aren't many of them. So right. that's the thing. Like, and that would have been perfect because they're freaking in Florida and the Gators and the, but they were dumb yeah. and they didn't get it. And I don't. I technically that benefits me because the Colts are in Jaguars conference, so I'll take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<sighs> so that's all of the uh, the football talk <laughs> that I yeah. thought uh, we should just bring up. Pro Bowl's happening in like two or three no, hours. Uh, yeah, actually no, it's late. It's really let's take what I, eight to. I think to it's eight. yeah, it's seven my time. Nine. So yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, and still that's that's like you two like... or three hours away. Oh. But I thought it would be on at like five thirty, but now it's it's like seven. But uh, right. I'll I'll yeah. I'll probably oh segue into our next topic, which isn't really a segue because I pointed it out. Um, is I I'm probably gonna be watching the uh, the Pro Bowl on that TV over there while I like just sort of casually watching it while I marathon through the last of the walking dead walking. because i literally <laughs> probably i i probably have about two hours legitimately oh, dude it's gonna freaking kill me if i don't finish it and i'm this <laughs> close like the last scene I, i'm <laughs> i'm do a cut scene i'm almost like <laughs> <laughs> the credits are rolling and it hasn't given yeah, me my trophy cool. yet and playstation now is like no disconnect <laughs> Gosh, dang. anyways for people who, who haven't known me and Eric were just last week. We were talking about PlayStation Now and how it was out with the subscription stuff and all that stuff. So we decided to try it out at least. Well, you tried it out a bit, but um, I, tried I tried it out, out extensively. Um, my uh, I don't know recommendation, review, preview, review, whatever summary of my experience with it is that it's have good. Well, that. The, yeah, but it's it's definitely not bad, but mm. it's I don't think it's what it's where it needs to be for a lot of types of games. Like honestly, I'm really enjoying. I'm I'm playing through The Walking Dead season one again for the platinum trophy because why the poop not? And like for that game, it's perfectly fine. Like it the the latency is sort of there, but it doesn't really matter because it's tolerate it. Yeah, it it's it's fine for like but that game, but for like I what Eric played, Eric played an FPS, and FPS well. isn't it about idea. ten fifteen minutes to get a kill. When I'm decent at, at FPS games, <laughs> are you though? Okay, I guess 7.0 <laughs> KD on Destiny sometimes. Big deal. <laughs> well, I mean, Destiny and Killzone are hugely different games. Yes, I, exactly. I mean, I wouldn't totally blame that on PlayStation Now. It's yeah, I know. because, you know, there are people, the, the people who are playing Killzone 3 okay. to this day on the PS3 are probably a hardcore bunch. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> They're probably... Still playing the game too, yeah. Yeah, you, that's yeah. what I mean. They have, like... Eric was saying that there was like C4 everywhere. They like, everywhere you go through a door, there's C4, a little pipe where you can't see it, and you yeah. just walk by it. You it's die. all the pros that have been playing for like three years and just know where to plant the C4. So and on top of that, there's latency, so <laughs> kind of yeah. a disadvantage. It's not. I played a little bit of Bioshock Infinite. I could probably get used to it, but it still needs it. Just it still needs to be better. But it's not, not horrible. for multiplayer. For single player, you could yeah. probably deal with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I I really just do want to stress the fact that it's not horrible. Like it's really not awful. Like I thought the latency would be really, really, really bad. But I mean, yeah. it's it's all right. But it needs to get a little bit better, Sony. I think it's the first for each person too, because of course you got your, your internet and how fast your internet is, and then. Uh, what game are you playing, of course. Yeah, it, and, there's a uh, lot of factors. playing online or offline. Yeah, you know. there's a lot of factors in it. I wonder, dude, I wonder I wonder if I was using PlayStation Now and then I checked my upload and download speed and whatever and, like, saw how farther down it good. was. Yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting, mm -hmm. how much it took up, really. Yeah. I don't know, but I don't... I feel like they would have to kind of design it for the masses, though. Like, not right. just everyone with insane internet. So probably the majority of it is on Sony's platform on their side. But, um, yeah, PlayStation Now. Check it out if you're interested. Do the seven-day free trial just because, you know, you can. And if you're mm -hmm. fast enough, you can get a free platinum trophy with The Walk Dead Season 1. But I... Probably am not fast enough. I am almost freaking there. Um, 
Oh, man, I seriously got to do that right after this. Like, right after this, I'm setting this to render, and I'm going to freaking go and try and finish it until <laughs> everyone gets on for Crota, if they ever do. Um, They are. Are they, though? With, uh, are they? You and Ryan. Yeah, but will Ryan be on? You never know. I was actually going to send him a message before this started, but I forgot. I was going to be like, yo, you There's watching Ryan's the Pro Bowl? Or... Not... J Money is really determined. <laughs> I'm not He's doing it. Tired. He I'm is doing tired. It. I'm gonna send Ryan a message in a bit. I hope Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I need to. You kind of. I kind of just have to ask if he's watching the Pro Bowl or if he is um, playing, because the Pro Bowl is not something you really need yeah. to watch. I like watching it's the Pro really, Bowl. It's entertaining. Yeah, it's honestly, it's probably one of the most entertaining games. But I really don't like watching. I mean, it's it's not like a competitive thing at all. It's literally just the players chilling literally. and having fun it's like they're playing a two-hand touch game like right. legitimately sometimes they won't even push each other down like they'll they'll come up and like wrap they're their arms up and they'll blow a whistle and they're like yeah oh, yeah pat on the back <laughs> it's entertaining <laughs> to watch but it's not he he better be playing instead of doing that that would be nice so eric do you want to talk about anything um let's see should i do my one topic yeah, or you can pick from mine. Um, Whatever you want to do. This is also technically your okay. show as well. Yes. I'm really I think, close I think to we're, the we'll, we'll let's talk about something we're both passionate about right now. <laughs> Dungeon Defenders. Oh, dude. Man. Dungeon Defenders 2. Yeah, freaking Dungeon Defenders, man. It's a great game. You should you should explain the first game and like, you know, the sequel okay. the plans for the sequel well, and whatnot. In really basic terms, it's a tower defense where you can actually control a third-person action character who can place down obstacles and uh, barriers and uh, damaging things to enemies that are co trying to destroy a crystal in the middle. Yeah. It's to protect the crystal with your weapons and with your abilities and barriers. Yeah, it's it's, and third it's pretty person. basic. Yeah. It was, it was good. I the way that the developer described Dungeon Defenders was a third person action, a third person action tower defense RPG. Yeah. So yeah, it's a lot of things mixed together, but it's really fun. And yeah, back in the day when I was easy. playing Dungeon Defenders one, I always said that like if they refined it a little bit and and the UI actually just that refined it. Refined a lot of it, the UI, the how you shoot and all that. If they refine it a bit, then I would be a I huge like, fan of that game. I feel like the UI was like kind of like the graphical or like a visual version of Comic Sans almost. <laughs> oh, it still like, is it, that. Like there there was a game and then the everything else was Comic Sans. It was the all fonts like, and whatnot yeah, are still pretty trying to be cool. Still pretty uh <laughs> You know, oh, the graphics on the second one look amazing. Yeah, they look so. really cool. It's it's really colorful. Um, yeah. I mean, the first one was colorful too, but this one's like yeah. noticeably colorful. Right. Um, wow. So I'm it. just looking at the Steam page for Dungeon Defenders 2 because if anyone cares, it's on early access right now on Steam. But yeah. it is okay. There's so much about this that I've learned in the past couple of days that I want to like get to all of it. So let's see where to start. I was watching a video on IGN about it. The developer was talking about the game, and I was like, man, this sounded really good. And then he just dropped a bomb that was like, and the game will be free to play on PS4 and PC when it comes out. And I'm like, really? What? Oh, all the while, <laughs> while I was watching this video, I was telling my friend Ryan that he should get the game when it comes out. And he, he was like, eh, I don't know, I'll have to see. And I was like, oh, well, it's free. Now you have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you have to but download it. Legitimately, let me let me read some crap here from the Steam page. This is from the developers. Let's see. What is the current state of the early a The current state of the early access version is in pre alpha state. So if this game comes out this year, which they're saying it's still gonna come out in twenty fifteen, if it yeah. does, it will be out probably, you know, fall. Fall, fall maybe if they rush it summer. Yeah, I we'll see. I don't know. I really hope 
It's a thorough. Know. Take their time oh, though. Winter. Take your time. I I don't really. Seriously. Yeah, I don't need like, this right this now. This goes for like any I game. Like I really yeah. want to do well. Like this, Uncharted. If it takes like, I don't know. If it takes Dude. another two weeks to patch some bugs, I don't yeah. care. I think they will because. Um, the Last of Us was supposed to come out like a month or yeah, actually like exactly a month before it did. And Naughty Dog always talks about how the month that they got to delay it to really fix everything was what took that game from a good game to a perfect game or nearly perfect type of game. So, yeah. like it, I think I think that Sony will give them a chance if if they need it. I think they'll have the chance yeah. to. Uh, to delay it a bit. I mean, who publishes Sony. Uh, Naughty Dog games? Huh? It's Sony. It's a Sony-owned oh, studio, okay. mate. Just like, huh. yeah, Sony's Sucker Punch is a Sony-owned studio. Naughty yeah. Dog, um, Media Molecule, oh, which developed they're, they're Little Big Planet. Oh, that makes sense. Um, yeah. uh, Gorilla Games, so the ones who developed Killzone. Lots of lots of people like that. Let's see. Yeah. I'm trying to find what I want to... Oh, also, one of the things that the guy mentioned in the video for Dungeon Defenders 2, and this is all also from PAX South. A lot of this stuff is... Well, not a lot. Pretty much is the only thing. We'll cover PAX South in a minute. But PAX South is going on. It's in Texas. Yeah. But yeah, this is a video from from the developer at PAX South. He was like at his little booth, and you saw Dungeon Defenders being played in the background. But um, he was talking about how especially on the PS4 version, he re they really want to focus on like get, having a really good um, local couch co-op experience. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect for this game. So, I mean, I'm not going to be using it much, but if Ryan right. ever came up to visit and we got into this game, he could probably just log into his old character and we could jump on mm -hmm. and... Yeah, so that's when pretty cool. You, when you guys came up and played <laughs> Towerfall. Yeah, yeah. Was Let's see here. Um, they, he did not say if they were going to have four-player or not, though. They hadn't decided yet. They said that they were going to try, but, you know, at the least. Either it'll be two-player two. or they'll go out and put four-player. Yeah. He said at the Think least of... they're doing – they're definitely doing co -op, local yeah. co-op, though. So at the least, too. Um, oh, my God. This is the best. Um, should I? Okay, should I just read? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna read this whole paragraph. So buckle in, because this is paragraph is full of awesome stuff. How the question is? How is the full version planned to differ from the early access version? Over the course of early access, we will be adding many features to Dungeon Defenders 2. Pets, a better matchmaking flow, More toxic dragons. player controls, tavern customization, more game modes, bosses, an improved loot system, local co-op, and a whole lot more are planned to be in the full version. It will also be free, supported by ethical in-game purchases like costumes and tower skins. These purchases will never provide gameplay advantage. Never provide gameplay advantage. That is beautiful yeah. developer speaking right there. I know. This this guy knows what's up. There are these, these people. He knows what the gamers want. And then you scroll down and they repeat it again. And uh, it says blah, blah, blah. For supporting us early, you'll receive an exclusive hero embellishment set and an equivalent or a greater dollar value to your purchase, pri uh, purchase price of in-game currency. You can use this currency to buy cool items like costumes, tower skins, tavern decorations. Tavern decorations, that's so cool. When those features come online. These in-game purchases, and then this part is in caps, will never... Grant gameplay advantage, period, ever, period. We're serious, exclamation point, all in caps. <laughs> so that's freaking awesome. This game looks super promising. Yeah. Super promising. I really hope it turns out. For, okay. for free game. And then, then the developers saying that, it's kind of... Yeah, dude, I say like, this all... I say it all... It's a game that's out of our league. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I, I say it all the time about free-to-play games that... Is it real? <laughs> <laughs> like, I really think that free-to-play games need to legitimately copy League of Legends monetization right. system. Like, just copy it. Just skins 
and maybe I don't you know I don't even put the ability to buy champions just give me skins I'll buy skins I bought a lot of skins in league if I really like your game I will buy stuff in it if it's yeah. free like my whole thing with league was that like I jumped in and I freaking loved it and I played it for months so at one point I was like man I've been playing this game for free See, for months about and I love it skins. I'm gonna buy something because yeah. I really enjoy this game that was actually like my thought process the thing about leads, league skins is that there's so few of them that they become more personalized I mean, my yeah fear and was sometimes you have rare defenders. Ones. Sometimes you're just overwhelmed with thousands of skins, and it's like, oh, well, what do I choose? Well, that's so. one of the things with Dungeon Defenders is that the first one came out forever ago, and the defend the the defenders, the developers, <laughs> is, are just, like, constantly... They have been constantly adding crap. Like, there are tons of expansions and tons of different stuff, yeah. and you got the Steam Workshop and all this. So, on PS4, starting off with Dungeon Defenders 2, I think we'll have... We won't be overloaded. Hopefully we won't be overloaded. Because, I mean, I like a lot of content, but I don't like so much content that I can't do right. it all. You know? Right. So, uh, hopefully that'll be the case, and it looks now, like it's going to be the case. What this, what um, Dungeon Defenders 2 can make a lot of money off, and I will be completely okay with, is if they have more uh, maps and modes in the future as DLC. I would if the game is good, I would be okay with paying or what ten bucks fifteen I don't know I mean they probably will, but then again, I, I seriously would rather oh. them like I'll do it if I really like the game, but mm, I mean like, I'd rather them not you know I'd rather it just be skins and cosmetic stuff, and I'd still well, buy yeah, that that's what I'm saying you can <clears throat> just, it'll be free to play you'll still have all these options, but you can also buy all the a giant selection of good DLC kind of like I don't <laughs> I don't know I don't normally I, I don't know if it's a free to play game I I don't normally like it to have DLC I mean yeah. I would still buy it I mean that's Dude, fine but my preference is that DLC. it wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> my preference okay. is that it wouldn't like I'd rather it just be free and and put out stuff yeah. like that like the maps and the game modes but have that be free and i'll support you right. with my buying a dragon <laughs> yeah i'll buy many dragons <laughs> dude i when we played Dra Dra dungeon defenders one where we had like those dragon things dude and you, were, you logged I had in those overpowered characters and they were oversized because they were glitched or something yeah eric logged in one day and his his yeah all of his characters were max level and he's just like oh Okay. And they were enlarged too. <laughs> it was glitched. So I was giant. I could only take. It would take me like five minutes across the room. <laughs> I could. I could just one hit everything. I don't know what happened. Someone like hacked my dungeon defenders. It's amazing know. though. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. that that's that was awesome. But yeah, <laughs> seriously, this. Be on the lookout for this game whenever it fully releases. And if you want, you can get the early access now and help them in its pre-alpha state. Have fun with that. <laughs> Whoever wants to do that. Yeah, I've Pretty seen awful. some. I've seen some uh, people play it. Yeah. Like I think uh, I can't like Captain Sparkles and Probably his yes. friends. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah. So that. Okay, no, wow. Be on the lookout for that. Um, next up, Pack South is happening right now. It's the first ever Pack South. Um, normally there's just PAX East, West, and Australia, but they added a South this year in San Antonio, Texas, and apparently there wasn't, like, any AAA developers there, like, at all. Yeah. It was all indie developers and Twitch and whatnot, which is fun, um, but that, that's a thing. Uh, be on the lookout for that next year, because I bet you money there's going to be way more people there next year when that yep. happens. Um, I don't think a lot of people were like prepared. No, I don't know. Yeah, they weren't because they're so used to just east and west, and then and yeah, they probably have like set Eastern schedules of okay, games. East, comp. west. It's like wait, there's a there's a south. Yeah, no. there's a south now. Where do we fit this into our schedule? Oh, no, yeah. panic. Super. Oh. So let's just go over. I I literally have a list of day one, day two, and day three of stuff that was covered. Um, I'll just read them out. Let's see. Oh, there's some interesting stuff here. Borderlands 3 was teased. 
Yeah. It wasn't like you know awesome. officially oh. anything, but it was teased. Um, Dungeon Defenders Two, uh, Social Justice Warriors. Not sure what that is. I think that's like a Facebook game. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ronin. <laughs> wow. There's okay. This game I've actually heard a lot about. Super Slam Dunk Touchdown. It's okay. literally a game that's like making fun of sports. It's like all sports like mashed together. Oh, like gosh. you're you're like in a hockey suit, like I'm skating on a rink, football. holding the football, and there's like a basketball goal that you. <laughs> it's, I don't I don't know, but it sounds funny. Um, and then freaking State of Decay Year One Survival Edition. State of Decay. If it has I'll, multiplayer, I'll buy the crap out of the game. It won't. Because I have it on Xbox. But single player. It's so Interesting good. Interesting <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. There, but in an interview with the the mm. guy, the head of the studio who makes that, he was talking about how. They originally planned to have a State of Decay and then a State of Decay with fully focused on multiplayer. So the next version of State of Decay oh will gosh. be like like oh. he, the <laughs> the question that Ryan McCaffrey from IGN asked was why don't why isn't there any co-op or multiplayer? Why can't you just drop in and do it with your friends? And he was like he said because in the long run they want to have something that's very focused on multiplayer and they don't want to they don't want to just you know add it in as just a little extra thing that yeah. you can like kind of like kind of like Far Cry 4 co-op you can just sort of go in and do your thing with your friend they want to build a build a game around it so okay so kind of that's like that's awesome GTA GTA online <laughs> Daisy separate. H1Z yeah 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 sort of Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then here's just a list of some weird games. Dreadnought, Star Mazer, um, Lightfall. <coughs> Starbound is coming to PS4. Oh, that's pretty cool. Game. Sweet. There's tons of stuff coming to PS4 that I want. Enter the Gungeon, which I think is an awesome name for a game. <laughs> the Gungeon. Faded. Gun. Yeah. Magnetic, Cage Closed. Magnetic colon cage closed okay <laughs> and and o and then there's another game called n-o-c-t just in all caps n-o-c-t N -O -C -T. knocked yeah i should go to ign look up their pack south article and look at all these random games okay. um hotline miami 2 guild wars 2 heart of thrones the heart of thorns the first ever guild wars 2 expansion so if you're into guild wars that's actually really good news that's that's one of the biggest news out of it. Um, Hotline Miami Two is gonna be awesome. I never beat Hotline Miami One because it's hard, it's super hard. I don't even know what level I'm on. I I gave up forever ago. Yeah. Homeworld Remastered Collection, Borderlands the pre sequel DLC, that was showed off. They announced a new DLC character. Yeah, that's actually it. And then they talked about oh Tales from the Borderlands Episode Two teaser. A game called Titan Souls and a game called Breach and Clear Deadline. But there's also something that they talked about called Borderlands, the Handsome Collection, Segway, <laughs> where they uh, basically, on PS4 and Xbox One, they're coming out with a whole collection of Borderlands 2 and all of its DLC and Borderlands the pre-sequel for next gen, or current gen, which is awesome. A lot of people... It's Didn't probably gonna play. go for sixty bucks, and that that deal alone is probably worth a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's that's why I'm, it's an insane I amount of it. content. Because the, there's a lot of DLC for. That's Borderlands. one of the reasons why I'm not getting it. I have started Borderlands two ten like legitimately. Let me. I'm I'm coming up with a real number so we're right now. All gonna be here on eight our times. Forest. I have started it eight times and Something i have not gotten past level 20 on any of my different characters and platforms how I, many b8 points did you have i don't even know you think i know <laughs> i didn't play it enough to care uh, like i liked it but that was it like i liked it and played it a bit and then i'm just like uh, okay i don't know like yeah i'm I, you have to legitimately it's like an rpg you have to sink hundreds of hours into that game to get full enjoyment out of it and I don't like games and, like that. And it's better with friends, of course, too. Yeah. I have played it with friends, but I can't it get was all my friends favorite on. Gaming experiences on Xbox 360. I had the first one, and um, 
four of my friends. We just ran through it. It has a really good story. It's hilarious. And, well, the first one at least. I, I don't know about the second I one. I ain't got though. time for that now, though. Also, Borderlands 1 was significantly shorter than Borderlands yeah, 2. Yeah, I, I, so I've heard. Yeah, but, um... DLC was amazing, too. I mean, yeah. I would. It, it, if this had been announced... Okay, if this had been announced and came out, like, last December, I'd be all over that crap, and I'd get it, and I'd play it. I have Glasses Destiny story. to play now. I have a bunch of other indie games that I actually am yeah. really enjoying. Um, like, Destiny alone takes up a lot of time. Like, yeah. I, Nah. Not now. I am sorry, Gearbox. But I don't think you care, because billions of other people will be buying your game. <laughs> um... <laughs> We're actually oh, getting kind of close. We have like a little over 10 minutes left. Um, quickly, just something that doesn't really matter too much. There's a... Actually, I need to look up when this ends. Um, PlayStation Store. There is a flash sale on the PlayStation Store going on right now, if you are curious. Um, if you're wanting to get games for cheap. Let's see. It's loading up. I still um, want to talk about Microsoft real fast after this. Okay. Let's see here. The flash sale... The flash sale actually ends... Actually, I think it'll end by the time this comes out. <laughs> I think wow. it ends by the time... It it ends well, there tomorrow. there was a flash sale. At 9 a.m. PT. The, uh, PSN outage over the holidays. No, that's not what the flash sale's for. The flash sale's that's just because of a flash sale. But there's a code... Um, you get a discount right. code on the store for 10% off. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, go. If if I'm looking up what when it actually ends. Okay. No, yeah, by the time this comes out, it's over. I'm sorry. But you can still get some games for sorry. 10% off. <laughs> there, If you go to the PlayStation Store, there's literally, like, the code. If you, if you had your PlayStation account while the outage happened, like, during Christmas... There, if you go to the store, the code will just be like plastered on the front page, and you can mm-hmm. enter it and get ten percent off. At uh, yeah, I I'm sad that the flash sale is gonna be ending by the time this comes out. Because <laughs> <laughs> because I was gonna say you should get guacamole for five bucks. Because literally with the ten percent code and the flash sale, I got a fifteen dollar game for five bucks. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. On PS4, okay. that doesn't normally happen. That's a Steam thing. So yeah. So yeah, but um, I still haven't played that game because I've been going straight through The Walking Dead. But once I'm done with The Walking Dead, I'm going to Guacamelee because I've heard um, tons about that. Microsoft, real fast. Okay, well, I mean, we have until we have until five thirty four my time, which is six thirty four your time. Oh, so yeah. Okay, I thought you said we had like ten minutes. I I miscalculated it. Gosh we, dang it. We have about like. 16 minutes right now okay yeah so we're good all right uh, all right so microsoft had a whole keynote thing where they show off a new technology and stuff they uh showcased windows 10 and their new uh augmented reality not virtual reality augmented yeah. reality uh called hololens where it projects stuff through the goggles onto surfaces around you yeah, and you can interact them with pinches, and movements. They, I don't know how much you looked into it, Teddy, but like I, there's like a Minecraft thing yeah, where you I've, could like I've probably seen what you've seen with the, the walls and yeah, dude, stuff. they showed off a lot of cool stuff. Like like that alone. Uh, I saw a question somewhere where they said it was a question like for in the long run, like. What do you think is going to be the future of gaming, gaming, AR or VR? I'm like, that's without a doubt VR. Like, AR is no. cool. See, I, I think... But the, no. AR, for gaming? No. No. It could be used for little amounts of gaming. Like, say yeah, if little, you wanted to little. put them on and use them for, like, a, a HUD. You yeah. can have, like, if anything, that could be it. Maybe a HUD or maybe, like, an interface but of with some... VR... <laughs> You have a Actually. HUD, and you are in the game. You yeah, know? yeah, exactly. So AR is cool, but for gaming, it's not, you know, wh- it's not what we're aiming towards. I don't think we should aim towards right. AR. We should aim towards VR. 
but for but for legitimately anything else, AR is freaking awesome. Imagine yeah. navigating while you're sitting on a couch, just yeah, navigating your Netflix. On the wall, like on the freaking wall, right? Like, you yeah, know. like a like a business meeting. You're all just like, oh, it's legitimately like Iron Man crap. Like, uh, yeah. basically, oh, let's just look at this tower right here. Let's look at this window, all and right. it zooms into the window. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, so, okay, one of the showcases was, like, someone – Someone was one of the things you could do at the uh, showcase was that you wear the HoloLens and you were on a Skype conversation with someone that's projected onto a wall, and the that's cool. The HoloLens has a camera pointing to what you're looking at, and the guy that's holding a tablet looking at Skype calling you with you can like draw on it, tell you what to do if you're like repairing something. <laughs> that's that's that, that's cool. what it was. So the, the chick was like repairing a sink or something, and he was drawing. What on the object that she was holding? Yeah, dude, like, all that know. stuff is really, really awesome for like practical use. But like when they showed the Minecraft thing, I'm like, this is cool, but yeah, I don't know how's that gonna work in a practical sense. But it was a cool demo. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, and all the Windows 10 stuff is awesome. For, yeah, for gaming and all I the really... freaking the big thing is that if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. You just get Windows get 10. Yeah. So, okay. Like, that's cool. Like, like yeah, I, I did not. I, I was like, oh, I guess I'm just sticking with my Windows 7. But, like, I didn't expect to ever get Windows 10 in the near future. Because, you know, in the next year, I'll be off to college, hopefully. And I won't have much money. So, I didn't expect to be dropping any big purchases, like a new computer or anything. But mm. then they're like, oh, <laughs> you just get it for free. I'm like, <laughs> All right, that sounds good. I'll take that. But uh, that's pretty big. They also focused a lot on games. You should. Uh, yeah, that's your they were, forte. They were um, talking a lot about uh, integrating the Xbox Live, not just uh, games, but like um, Xbox Live and micro or Windows, so yeah. that you could stream Xbox games to your PC. Or and some games are gonna be cross. Some games are gonna be yeah cross play yeah from oh. PC to Xbox. That sounds beautiful. Yeah, this is really Sony really does cool not have news. a PC lineup. That is no. uh. But I, they they have. Oh, uh, they have PC lineup, but it runs through Microsoft Windows. So I mean. No, I'm not saying PC. I don't. No, I was talking about PC. software. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, that'd be cool, but. That, that won't happen ever, but that would be cool. <laughs> yeah. But um, the whole thing with that is that, like, Sony pretty much has similar stuff. Not in that it's integrated with the PC, yeah. but the streaming factors. Yeah. I can use this little yeah. PlayStation, PlayStation TV, TV and go over there or go downstairs and play on my PS4. But, uh, but yeah. But this this stuff's really cool. Like, especially the whole cross-buy thing that a lot of – a lot of games are going to be cross buy and cross play, mm -hmm. and like I don't know, that's really awesome. That opens me I, up to a lot of Xbox exclusives that right. I wouldn't be able to play otherwise. If oh my gosh, I will be so happy if you're able to like play Xbox games on your PC. That would just well, be. You can. Like, I mean, of course it'd be select, but I mean. Yeah, well, you can, mate. Believe it. It's the future. You can. The future it's is future. now. <laughs> oh my future. god! Remember that SpongeBob episode where they go in the kitchen and it's like all yeah. chrome. <laughs> but um, <Everything> chrome. <laughs> and then they all just get on the ground. Future. <laughs> They're like rolling. There's a guy with the, the spray can position. spraying everything in chrome. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> like all the clones of SpongeBob keep like one of them keeps like you know. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, SpongeBob random SpongeBob yeah. rant. But shout out. A lot of that is shout out to SpongeBob. <laughs> shout out to you, bro. <laughs> but um a lot of, a lot of the freaking gaming stuff that is mentioned is just really cool. Like I can't stress that enough. I didn't expect I didn't even hear about this Windows 10 event until it happened. So yeah. I of course didn't expect any of this, but it just like came out one day and I'm like, "Oh, that's pretty cool. That's mm -hmm. I, 
that's pretty yeah, okay enough. so microsoft's taking big steps in the future we're, we're getting there 25th century stuff here going on in the 21st century. century dang <laughs> holy crap i don't even want to think <laughs> about that <laughs> oh, oh God. that's farther than i thought crap <laughs> yeah the 25th century is freely far 2500 yeah, you got oh my gosh! Not so hover cars by then. Definitely. Yeah, you got hover cars. You got hoverboards. You got freaking oh my gosh! There's so much stuff that would be available there. Bones. What if you just you pooped and your dude. poop is just dissolved? It's gone. It yeah, just, we have poop just underwear that dissolves. Waste. Yeah, like you can just stand up, squat. Ugh, it's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. That would be genius. You got the AR thing without a doubt. You just pull up your phone with. It's in your head. It's all in your freaking maybe, head. Maybe you can make yeah. an AR toilet. <laughs> and just poop Why would anybody stuff. want that? Oh my goodness. That's just horrifying. Oh. An AR toilet. So, like, wait. It, you're thinking that there's a toilet there, so you go and poop, but there really isn't, and it just falls on the floor. <laughs> What's so messed up about this is that I'm like literally imagining that corner over there, yeah. right there by the door, just pooping and it's just falling on the floor. There's like a little pile. It's right there. It's messed up. No, don't ever oh, do that, God. Microsoft. Protect us. Uh, don't do that. It's a horrible uh, idea. But the poop dissolving underwear, that that's gold. Do you think we're gonna make? You... Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> poop um. <clears throat> Uh, trademark. <clears throat> yeah, 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 don't don't make that without consulting me and giving me like ten yeah. million dollars. We have a lawyer. <laughs> I I legitimately do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's the stuff about Microsoft. <laughs> that yeah, happened. Microsoft. Oh man. But uh yeah, our me and I Eric are just so hoping much. to be able to maybe play Halo five on our PCs. Yeah, <laughs> Halo five on PC. Think about that. But um, Keith, Master Chief, Master Keith collection. Yeah, <laughs> Chief Keith, rapper. Chief Keith. Oh my gosh! Don't even talk about that guy. Oh uh, man, I haven't even heard that name in forever. I, I, um, <laughs> so Arrow, the Flash, and the One Hundred yeah. are all back on television. And they're all amazing. It just makes me so happy, dude. Yeah, like last. Last Tuesday and Wednesday, holy crap, I messed my freaking hair up. <laughs> last Tuesday and Wednesday, when I was watch and Thursday, because I watched the 100 the next day, I was just so happy, because we watched it on Tuesday night, we watched The Flash on Tuesday night, and then Arrow on Wednesday, and then after I watched the 100, it's just, it's so amazing that, like, story yep. arcs are moving now. Like, they're <laughs> progressing. And so... I was gonna... really surprised about the arrow, too. Yeah, I a lot of that was shocking. A lot of the episode wasn't that I, I didn't expect a lot. Not of soon. That. Yeah, I didn't I'm not complaining. I didn't expect a lot of it, but it was. I mean, it was good. It was really good. It was well done. It, it was. Well done. It was. It's probably one of my favorite Arrow episodes yeah, this it season. Yeah, flashbacks, which was awesome. Yeah, I don't know. It. I really yeah. liked it. It was. It was probably one of my favorite Arrow episodes this season. But uh, the Flash was awesome as well. Oh my goodness, the Flash! I say this every week. The Joe and Barry scenes are the best in like every episode. Like you can have these awesome fight scenes and they're cool. But then there's of course Joe and Barry scene at the end, and uh, it's just the best scene. Your camera's oh, black right now. What the? Dude, I can't switch off of myself. Otherwise, it's black. I can see you in the bottom right. Wait, d move or something. Like, okay. <laughs> but if I unclick myself, oh, there we go. Dude, that was weird. If I unclicked myself, go. it showed you. It showed a black, like a black camera, uh, and I was. But it okay. still showed you in the bottom right. Well, so that was weird. But yeah. Uh, that connection thing was thing. Yeah. Anyway. Internet. Yeah. Sorted out Obama. Barry and Joe. Yeah, Obama. Yeah. Uh, Barry and Joe are the best. Yeah, Barry and Joe. 
the great, sh- great scenes. They're seriously Father, the son, best. Zappy. Yeah, great. it's it's great. It's great. Yeah, he like ran back to his house and got his luggage. I lo- dude, I was telling somebody this the other day. The Flash is probably like if you can have any superpower, the Flash's superpowers are probably the most practical. To be honest, like yeah. think about what you could do yeah. as the Flash. I like I have a but, little. I have a couple of chores that normally take me like thirty minutes to an hour every day. Well, yeah. Oh my gosh! Imagine if you had super speed and teleportation at the same time. Oh my gosh! I would just be OP. That'd be you, so OP. You could be fast at teleporting. You'd be OP at life. Like I wouldn't even be a superhero. <laughs> I would just be OP at life. Like yeah. I. I would if it's I, work. Oh, you you know. Oh, also, you know what? Why not? Let's just bring this up. Apparently, there are two locations in the world of McDonald's that sell pizza. There are two. Oh yeah. McDonald's oh, restaurants yeah. that sell pizza. So, somewhere in Virginia. Yeah, somewhere in Virginia, then somewhere in U- Ohio. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I re- imagine in this world where I have both these superpowers, I get, I read the thing. <laughs> oh gosh and i also wouldn't be coughing so much because i'd be a superhuman but i read the <laughs> thing about mcdonald's pizza and it's like oh this town west virginia and i'm like hmm. but i didn't even read it because i freaking speed read it because i can do that i just freaking yeah. speed read the whole article yeah, in like one second you're already teleported yeah i'm already in west virginia i'm al- i've already bought it i'm already <laughs> back back here at the house Eating this McDonald's pizza. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what a life, dude. What a yeah. life. You could pay fast, leave fast, get there fast, and just, read fast. It's, it's just a dream. It's a dream. Imagine that you're you're waking up. Dream team. You wake up fast. You get ready for work fast. You go teleport to, to work. Do your work fast. Dude, and you this, go. this is legitimately just a dream. Is, like, yeah. how awesome would all of this be? But it's never going to happen, so we got to deal with it. <laughs> you yeah. got to deal with it. I'm the avatar, <laughs> and you got to deal with it. But, um, uh, so, yeah, whatever we were talking about. Oh, yeah, the 100 was awesome as well. Um, oh, dude. I told you we'd love that show. It's just so yeah, I mean, intense. It's, it's I your really, blood pumping. <laughs> I like it. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan. But the only I, – I don't, I don't know – I really liked it, but uh, I I can't wait. I just really can't wait for, like, more stuff to happen. It's kind of like the Arrow in the sense that, like, I really just want to know what's going to happen by the end. next episode, though. Yeah. I, oh, dude, next episode's going to be legit because, spoilers, Bellamy's going to be freaking sneaking Infiltrate. in somehow. Yeah. yeah. Think about that. Poop's oh, going to go down. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Save Monty. Monty's, in, Monty's a in a freaking cage. That's messed up. Poor Monty. You know this whole like mountain men thing reminds me of C- or episode two of Walking Dead. Episode two uh, of the, the game. The oh the game. Yeah the oh. game. Oh yeah. Not not as in they're eating them, but yeah. like kind of harvesting them. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's still the same screwed up. Dude, thing. episode two of The Walking Dead is still, like, burned into my brain as one of my, like, most horrifying, horrifying like, experiences. Yeah, especially where you're like, Clem, like, no! <laughs> I, re- I replayed it yeah. the other day, and I, I, for a second, I can't remember what moment it was, but I took off my headset and let the cutscene play for, like, five, like, 20 seconds, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't know, man, that, that crap's still freaky. It's probably because that's yeah. that's one of the first like super scary, super shocking experiences yeah. I had had in any sort of entertainment. That is, mm-hmm. um, real quick, the last thing we want to discuss before we go, um, this is uh, an article by Michael Martin at IGN. Uh, he's talking about the um, he he talked to a developer oh no no. he just digged this up on neogaf and he wrote an article Mm -hmm. about it um apparently a developer from destiny from bungie uh named luke smith says that this in quotes the studio will not repeat um quotes mistakes we made with the dlc one the dark blow reward 
Mistakes we made with the DLC one reward economy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I get like, it. Stuff drops and yeah. The the studio has nothing official to announce, but Smith did list Vault of Glass vendor gear invalidating raid gear, resetting exotic talents through upgrading, and the shard economy as mistakes the studio made. So and yeah, yeah, yeah. So so hopefully they do this because if they do this with house of wolves i'll be happy with how they handle it i think they're going to make some different way to level up your armor or to I like upgrade the, it i like the shard thing i like the shards but sometimes I, I can agree why a lot of people i don't know i don't that, that people think... say there's a barrier between where you can be i don't know i don't think I that uh i think that they the raids shouldn't even drop shards until you have all gear. Like, each drop, the first th three or four drops should just give you each gear, yeah. and then you're working for shards. That's not going to happen, but that'd be great. But uh, the big thing that I really didn't like was resetting exotics through the getting the new cap, and I yeah. didn't like that basically what I would have liked to happen for Kurtizen or Dark Blow was... For the Vault of Glass armor to be 31 and to have been raised to 31 and the Vendor armor to be 30. So even mm. with Vendor armor, you can still jump into the raid. Yeah, but Vault of Glass, hard. you don't feel like you freaking wasted all your time if you have all this Vault right. of Glass gear. And Vault of Glass, would still have, or Vault of Glass armor would still have purpose. Yeah. Yeah. It, like legitimately, I dismantled a Vault of Glass helmet the other day. I was like... Yeah. What do I need this for? Because the armor looks cool. Yeah, the armor is awesome. I have something in my freaking eye. I can't get it out. Oh, well. I, I'll just get my Illuminati to deal with it. My Illuminati <laughs> group. Um, yeah, that's just... I just wanted to tell people that are interested in Destiny and probably concerned with how the Dark Below <laughs> turned out with uh, yeah. how they announced everything and the whole gear thing that they it should a lot be better from the second time around. Drops. But yeah. I, I hope they like iron out everything. They take their time on this DLC. I will be okay. Yeah, I'd be okay waiting another month. I don't even care. Actually, I've always said that. I think four, four months is better than three months in just timing. Yeah, gives you a little more time to do everything that you need to do. Because mm -hmm. I still have a lot of stuff I need to do. I really, I don't know. I really, really, really hope that they. Don't make you reset your stinking exotics, because I will have maxed out all these exotics for yeah, nothing. We have so many exotics, and just the time... I have five maxed. <laughs> like, I don't want to do that again. And I'm only at five out of 18 of my exotics. Mm -hmm. I, if I get, like, if I in the next two months get, not all of them, but I'll probably get, like, 15 or 16. If I get, like, most of them maxed, and then I have to freaking reset them, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to freaking jump out this window... And just just die. That's that's what I'm gonna do because I won't be able to handle it. Yeah, way so. too much work. Yeah, it is. It's dumb. But uh, yeah, this has been the Gamer Gents Duo Podcast number nine. Next week <laughs> we'll have some sort of gameplay in the background. It'll be a little bit of different format because why not? Because we can, and I thought it'd be cool. So yeah, thanks for thanks for coming out. Thanks for joining us. Oh, he's already on it. Eric is already on it, man. Look at that goldfish. Look at him. Goldfish. Thinks he's so cool. Freaking drop the sunglasses a little bit. Deal with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or or you can uh, the goldfish can make a joke. Oh, I'm trying to think of a joke involving cheese. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What's uh? Oh, wait, wait. What's uh? What do you think Bungie's favorite uh cracker snack is? Swiss cheese. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was gonna say goldfish because they're made with cheese. Drop the sunglasses. Yeah. On the mic. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was thinking more of the CSI Miami thing or whatever. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're we're done here. We're done here. Come back next week, please. We're begging. Mm-hmm. <laughs>